Hello, hello, my crochet friends. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today I have a lovely project to share with you. Many of my viewers know that I have a thing for everything lacy, and today I'm sharing a pattern for lacy shawl. I'd say there are three elements that make this shawl so lovely. First of all, it's just the lace design. In my opinion, crochet lace is always pretty. Secondly, this pattern is worked using front post double crochets, which give our shawl somewhat three-dimensional texture. And lastly, it's the yarn, the ombre yarn itself. The gradual transition from pale green to rich green creates a very, very beautiful look. I received this yarn to try, review and create a project from the Perfect Yarn Shop on Etsy. Perfect Yarn Shop offers this yarn in many other colorways, as well as a variety of other beautiful and high quality yarns. I invite you to visit Perfect Yarn Shop on Etsy. They have excellent reviews, they often run sales and offer free shipping on qualified orders. I will post the link to their shop in the description box below. This was the first time ever I tried this yarn, which is 20% wool and 80% acrylic. There are 931 yards of yarn in each skein, and it took me exactly one skein to create my shawl. And my shawl came out 52 inches wide and 26 inches long. I worked with a hook size F, 3.75 millimeters. All right, and now let's jump to the tutorial. I start with four chains. One, two, three, four, and I join them into a ring with a slip stitch. I'm ready to start my first row. I make five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And now I will be working into the ring right in the middle over here. First, I make two double crochets. One, two. Next, I make one chain. And again, into the ring, I make two double crochets. One, two. Again, one chain and two double crochets into the ring. One, two, one chain and two double crochets into the ring. One, two. So now I have this starting chain five over here, then two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. So I have four groups of two double crochets. One, two, three, four. And I finish with one chain and one double crochet. And this is gonna be my first row. I start row two with chain five and turn. One, two, three, four, five. And now I will be working into the stitches over here, the stitches of the first row. I make a double crochet into the very first double crochet. Now into the next chain one space over here, I make a double crochet, two chains and a double crochet. Then again, into the next chain one space. I make a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. So here I got to the middle of my triangle because this is how the triangle is forming. So into the next chain one space, I make a double crochet, then five chains. One, two, three, four, five, and into the same chain one space, I make another double crochet. Now again, 
I'll be working into the next chain one space. I make a double crochet, two chains and a double crochet. Again, into the next chain one space. This is the last space of this row. I make a double crochet, two chains and a double crochet. And now into the third chain of this turning chain, counting from the bottom, one, two, three. This is where I end and I end with a double crochet, two chains and another double crochet. And this is what my work looks like so far. I start next row with four chains and turn one, two, three, four. Now I will be working into this chain two space. So first I make two double crochets. One, two, then one chain and into the same space, two more double crochets. One, two. So this is my shell, two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. Next, I will work two front post double crochets finished together over the next two double crochets, these over here. So first I make my first front post double crochet, but I don't finish it. Then I make my second front post double crochet around the next double crochet. And now I finish them together. Now again, I will be working into this chain two space and I make a shell into this space. So first two double crochets, one, two, then one chain and into the same space, two more double crochets, one, two. Now I work two front post double crochets finished together over these next two double crochets. One, two, and I finish them together. Now again, a shell into the next chain two space. One, two, two double crochets, then one chain and two more double crochets. One, two. Now again, two front post double crochets finished together. And now I got to the middle of my shawl or my triangle, this chain five space over here. So first I make a shell, two double crochets, then one chain and two more double crochets. Then I make one chain and I make another shell into this same chain five space. So two double crochets, one chain and two more double crochets, one, two. Now again, two front post double crochets finished together, one, two. Now again, a shell into the next chain two space so one double crochet, two, one chain and two more double crochets, one, two. Now again, two front post double crochets finished together, one, two. Into the next chain two space I work a shell one, two, two double crochets, one chain and two more double crochets, one, two, now again two front post double crochets, one, two, we finish them together. Now into the last chain space I work a shell, one, 
two, then one chain, and two more double crochets, one, two, and I'm going to end this row with one chain and a double crochet into the third chain of turn and chain for one, two, three, counting from the bottom. So over here. And this is what my work looks like so far. And now the pattern is going to become a bit easier to work. I start the next row, row four, with chain five and turn, and I make a double crochet into the very first double crochet. Next, I will be working into chain one space of each shell. So into the next chain one space of the next shell, I work a double crochet, two chains and a double crochet. Now again, the chain one space of the next shell over here, I worked a double crochet two chains and a double crochet. Again, next shell into the chain one space, I work a double crochet, two chains and a double crochet. Again, into the next chain one space, I work a double crochet, two chains and a double crochet. So I crocheted all the way along one side of my triangle over here and over here this chain one space So basically in my pattern I have only two alternating rows, one row with shells and one row with these V stitches worked into the chain one space of each shell. So in the next row I will be working shells again. So I start with four chains and turn and into the next chain two space I work a shell. So two double crochets one chain and two double crochets. Next I work two front post double crochets finished together. Now again I work a shell into the next chain two space. One, two, one chain and two double crochets. Now again, two front post double crochets finished together. And I continue crocheting this way across to the middle of my triangle over here. So here I got to the middle of my triangle and into this chain five space, I will work two shells. One, two, then one chain and one, two. So that's one shell, then I make one chain and into the same chain five space I work my second shell. So two double crochets, one chain and two double crochets. Now I will be working along this side of my triangle. I make two front post double crochets finished together. Next, I work a shell. One, two, two double crochets, then one chain and two more double crochets. Now again, I work two front post double crochets finished together. Now again, shell then two front post double crochets finished together and I will continue crocheting that way until the end of the row. So here I got to the end of the row and I finished it with one chain and a double crochet into the third chain of this turning chain. One, two, three. And 
and this is what my work looks like so far so now again i will make a row of these v stitches worked into the chain one space of each shell and then the next row will be row of shells so basically for my pattern from this point all i do is i repeat rows four and five for the pattern here i completed a couple more rows and you can see what the pattern begins to look like 